it's time now to move into Apple territory. But just before we go in out there, because Tim Cook is about to enter stage, and then we're going to have that whole turnout of people that will come and talk about particular features, particular devices, new things that Apple is doing. Before we do that, let's just understand where is Apple coming from. So they have quite a stranglehold on the premium market, but they have lost market share in certain countries, especially in countries like China and India. So the expectation is that they will address that. But then there is a bit of a catch-22. If they address the problem of lower price devices, for instance, if they come up with, let's say, an iPhone for 30,000 rupees, do they lose the rest of the market, the market that they are so dominant in, places like the US, places like Europe, all those areas where they sell phones at huge margins, can they actually afford to leave those margins on the table? I think not. A lot of people are saying there will be a phone in there that will be less than 50,000. I'm saying that's not possible. Let's find out which one is true. Yes, it's that time of the year again, when one of the world's biggest tech companies captures the imagination of an entire generation of smartphone users. Let's be frank guys, just like we expect rains in July, we anticipate a big Apple reveal in September. Sit tight folks, because the new iPhones are here. Three new iPhones, three new choices, and new arm candies for Apple loyalists to post off. At its annual event at the Cupertino headquarters in California, at the Steve Jobs Theatre, Apple bigwigs took the stage to announce the iPhone XS, the XS Max and the XR. So while you figure out how to pronounce them correctly, we'll take you through the specs. Apple's biggest iPhone yet is here. The plus-size iPhone XS Max. It's a giant. With a 6.5-inch Super Retina OLED display, the iPhone XS Max also sports a true-to-name price tag and will be available in India for Rs 1,9900,000 for the 64GB variant. Apple also offers its highest storage model yet, the 512GB version, which will be available in India for Rs 1,44,900. That's the most expensive iPhone yet. Do remember, in the same amount, you can spend 10 days in Disneyland or even create a mini gym in your house. The iPhone XS, on the other hand, looks a lot like last year's iPhone X and can be yours for 99,900 rupees for the 64 GB version. This one has a smaller OLED screen at 5.8 inches and if you want the 512 GB version, you'll have to dole out 1,34,900 rupees. Why buy an expensive iPhone if you're not going to talk about its camera? Keeping this in mind, both the XS and the XS Max come with two 12-megapixel lenses on the back. Apple is touting a new feature called Smart HDR which blends multiple image frames into a single image. All in all, you'll get sharper photos and have more natural light. Similar to most smartphones today, Apple is also offering adjustable bokeh, wherein you can snap a picture and then adjust how blurry or sharp the background of your subject is. Basically, you'll get that perfect Instagram shot. Another important factor to note, Apple has done away with Touch ID in the 2018 iPhone range and all of the three new variants now come with improved Face ID which allows users to unlock their handset by just looking at it. The new Face ID uses infrared and dot projector technology coupled with propriety hardware and algorithm and claims to be one of the most secure mechanisms in the market. At the heart of all the new iPhones is Apple's biggest upgrade yet, a new chip. The A12 Bionic chip is set to make the iPhone more powerful than ever. Both the iPhone XS and the XS Max are offered in three colors, gold, silver and space grey. Additionally, there are three storage options for each, 64GB, 256GB and for the first time in an iPhone, 512GB. Another notable addition. Both the XS and the XS Max support a dual SIM card system, enabling multiple phone numbers and easier international travel. The phones will be available in India by September 28. Now in my hand is what may well be the most interesting of the three new iPhones. This is the XR. Please don't call it the XR. Please, right? This is the 10R. I'm holding three colors. You can see all the other colors out here. There's a red, there's a blue. I mean, 
there's a great amount of colors and this is a great phone but what really this signifies is a slightly lower price point not as low as I'd expected. I was thinking of a 45, 50,000 rupee phone, but what Apple has done with this is not screen, great screen, it's not an OLED, and then they put in a single camera at the back, but other than the single camera at the back and the fact that it's not an OLED, everything else is exactly like the 10s or the 10s max so it's not a compromise phone but you're getting it at a better price so that makes it very intriguing the colors makes it very intriguing the fact that it's being built for india and they've uh, almost announced out here that they have a fantastic scheme coming up for this where there's no down payment they're going to be buying it on a monthly also means that they're trying to make a huge comeback in india so once again quick look at just all the specs and features of the 10r not the xr Remember the iPhone 5C, the wonderful, less expensive iPhone which we all came to love? Say hello to the iPhone XR, which is kind of like that. This baby can be yours for Rs 76,900 for the 64GB version. The iPhone XR sports an edge-to-edge 6.1-inch LCD panel that has the same display notch on top that debuted on the iPhone X last year. Apple calls the LCD the liquid retina panel. There is also Apple's A12 Bionic chip under the hood to make it more powerful than ever. The iPhone XR price in India starts at Rs 76,900 for the 64GB variant. It has only one of the two 12-megapixel cameras found on the back of the iPhone XS and XS Max. However, internally, the XR is almost identical to the XS and XS Max. So you won't be missing out on much if you opt for this so-called cheaper iPhone. The iPhone XR will start shipping around October 26 this year. What will predictably excite buyers more are the color variants. The iPhone XR will come in a variety of color options including black, blue, coral, white and a little drum roll for this option please, we'll be seeing a yellow iPhone 2. A product red color variant is also expected to be launched. So have you made your decision? 10 days in Disneyland or the new iPhone? Choices, choices. And of course, it wasn't only about the three new iPhones. There's of course this, the Apple Watch Series 4. Now, what have they done with this that is dramatically different? Well, the term dramatically different comes from three letters, E, C, G, S. This watch is now capable of doing a medical grade ECG right on your wrist. And it's been done very, very cleverly an FDA approved ECG. I think this is a game changer. They said wearables will change the way we actually do things. It's been done. Other than that, better battery life, of course, uh, a much bigger screen because the bezel has been shrunk in and a whole lot more has been added in. But it's more to do with health and fitness than anything else. That's the big change out here. The traditional one more thing announcement was a miss this year at the Apple event. But the company did go beyond the iPhones and announced the upgraded tech for your wrist, the Apple Watch Series 4. And boy, have they made changes. If you have been thinking of buying the Apple Watch for a while, this is the one that you should consider strapping on. The back is made of black ceramic and sapphire crystal for improved cell reception. With the Series 4, Apple has gone bigger and better with a 30% larger screen and thinner bezels. The screen has increased to 40mm and 42mm, while the overall build remains the same. It has a responsive haptic feedback which allows for a responsive feel when you scroll through the various menu options. The speaker has been redesigned as well and it is about 50% louder. To reduce echo, the microphone is on the opposite side ensuring clearer phone calls. Ticking in it is Apple's next-gen S4 64-bit dual-core processor. The accelerometer and gyroscope have twice the dynamic range and work more efficiently. Unfortunately, the battery life is the same at 18 hours. The older generations of the watch included an optical heart rate sensor and calories burnt. But the Series 4 ticks ahead and is almost like a guardian on your wrist. It has a built-in electrical heart sensor and users can take an ECG first on a smartwatch. It will measure electrical activity of the heartbeat to help diagnose heart conditions. The details are stored in the health app and can be shared with the doctor at any time. This is approved by the FDA or the Food and Drug Administration. If your heart rate is too low, you will be sent an alert. 
It also has a built-in fall detection feature. It essentially means that if you ever fall and hit the ground, it can alert emergency and SOS services. While that fall detection feature may help, but we suggest you still watch before you leap. The Apple Watch OS 5 has also been announced and the rollout begins from September 17th. This will let you compete with your friends and compare fitness stats. And the command, Hey Siri, will be replaced by the action of simply raising your watch. The Apple Watch Series 4 is priced for $399 US and $499 for the cellular version. However, the pricing and availability for India has not been announced yet. But we promise you that we will have it strapped onto our wrist very soon.